Number one, a good baseball pitcher can throw a baseball toward home plate at 85 miles per hour with a spin of 1,800 revolutions per minute. How many revolutions does the baseball make on its way to home plate? For simplicity, assume that the 60 feet path is a straight line. Okay, so there is a ball over here, which some initial velocity, let's just call it V, which is equal to 85 miles per hour. So 85 miles per hour. So that's the initial speed of the ball. And we have a target here, which is the home plate. So the distance between the ball and the home plate is equal to 60 feet. And we also know that the ball is spinning. So the ball is spinning and its angular velocity is equal to 1,800 revolutions per minute. So this is the information that we have. So the ball goes from this position, to this position over here, and it is spinning while it, it's doing its movement. So all we wanna know is how many revolutions does the ball does the baseball make on its way from this point to this point over here? Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is to use some the, the same units. Let's say, for example, here we have minutes, right? And here we have hours. So we need to make some conversions to use minutes or hours or seconds. Doesn't matter, but you have to use the same units. So I'm going to use minutes. And as for distance, we have miles here and feet here, right? So we have to use the same unit. I'm going to use feet. Okay, so that's what I choose to use. But you could have chosen like meters and seconds. It doesn't matter. The process will be the same. Just a little bit more uh, calculations. Okay, so let's convert this velocity into fits per minute so the velocity is equals to 85 miles per hour however one mile is equal to 5280 feet and one hour is equal to 60 minutes okay so we can just replace this over here and then we are going to get 85 times 5,280 feet times, uh, sorry, over 60 minutes. So we just replaced miles per 5,280 feet and one hour per uh, 60 minutes. And then we find 7,480 feet per minute. So that's the velocity of the ball and you're probably saying that this unit is really crazy if you're not American but I'm not American as well so this is crazy for me uh, as well so that's the velocity of the ball and we also have to convert let's see what else no that's that's pretty much it right that's all we have here so the equation that we're going to use to find the number of revolutions it's this one over here the angular position is equal to the angular velocity times the time it took to do the movement so we want to know this value over here we know this value and we don't know t so we have to find t let's remember that v equals delta x over delta t and in this case delta x is equal to 60 feet so this is going to be 60 sorry uh, we have to isolate t first so delta t is equal to delta x over v so delta x is equal to 60 feet and v is equal to this value over here 7480 feet per minute it is important for you to write the units here so you don't get lost so you can see that you can cross out this over here and as I answer you will have what, 0 0.00802 minutes so you don't get lost with the units if you keep writing them okay so that's T so now we can just apply this equation over here 
to actually this is delta t so delta t is going to be not delta t delta theta so delta theta is equal to the angular velocity which is equal to a thousand and eight hundred revolutions per minute and we have 0 0.0082 minutes and as you can see we can cross out minutes and we only have revolutions so the answer will be in revolutions already so and this is equal to roughly 14 revolutions which is our final answer because it says over here that it wants the number of revolutions and we use some units that gives us revolution as an answer so that's the answer of this problem